Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. We are pleased to be joined by Andres Perez de Lara of Rev Racing. Uh, he drives the number two Chevrolet um, uh, and will be competing at the Arca Race at Talladega in his first big track. Remember, he didn't do Daytona. Oh, yes, he did. But he would, but obviously he wasn't old enough, but obviously uh, to get points and stuff and all that. But, but uh, this is uh, this is for real. You get to run a Talladega. How excited are you? And first off, thanks, yeah. for, thanks for coming on, buddy. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, really excited for Talladega this weekend. Uh, finally, after testing in Daytona, I was kind of wanted to get in the car for in a super speedway tra- type of track since that day. So, really excited for this weekend. Um, I've been starting helping here in the shop and i think everything's ready for this weekend the cars uh ready about to go uh head head to talladega so yeah really excited and let's go get a good result over there so let's talk about just um just something about this this track that that gets like what what excites you about this place well i think the history talladega has and also the uh, that is a race that it can be really unpredictable, not knowing what's going to happen after maybe lap 40. Um, I think it's going to be a really tough race. Overall, there's going to be many cars over there. So I think just going to be uh, really smart. The first couple of laps is going to be key. Uh, just stay there in the in the front pack uh, so you can be there at the end. That I think it's everything that matters in super speedway type of tracks. Yeah. So... What could you, what, what's, who, who have you, um, uh, I mean, you know, this car won this race last year, uh, the car that you're in. So do you feel any pressure about, it's like, okay, okay, I'm going to race here. The car that I raced in won last year uh, and I'm racing in it for the first time. What, what are you, uh, do you, what are you going to expect? Like, what, I know it's definitely kind of a pressure over there. Nick won last year. So that, and, and the car is fast. That's, that's what I, what I know. Uh, definitely the car is really fast in, in, in Taldeg and Daytona. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah, it's definitely a pressure, but I think more of that motivates me for Talladega. I know our car is definitely going to be really quick over there. We're going to be able to make some moves, go to the front. And uh, I think with the test I had in Daytona, doing some same work here in the in the shop also, it's really helping me to to understand how to do these races better. Um, I think just, as I told you, just got to be smart, listen to the spotter and uh, make good choices. I think... Uh, that's really important for for super speedways um and we're we're gonna be starting i think third because we have no qualifying due to times so that's gonna make it even uh better for from our side uh just gotta stay there in the front back uh, avoid making uh some moves that we don't need to do um and then uh like nick do it did it last year just be there at the end and get the chances you can uh, so hopefully you get the to the checker flag first and Andres just mentioned, of course, there will be no qualifying uh, as the lineup was uh, will be traditionally set up by uh, by owners' points, and and I, they just do that because of obviously with uh, with uh, with time constraints with uh, with the Xfinity series and the Cup series also being in Talladega this weekend. Um, so kind of talk about like um, what you've been up to since uh, since we last saw you. Uh, it's been over a month since the main Arkham Menard series has been on the track at Phoenix. Um, my, if my understanding, did you do any racing uh, um, during that time? Yeah, I did. Uh, so Phoenix was a really good race for us. Uh, we, we showed a lot of speed. We had some issues over there in the middle of the race, penalties and stuff. But I think we rescued a good result. So we have good momentum here in the ARCA, in the ARCA series. And apart from that, I've been racing in Mexico. Uh, I'm still doing the NASCAR Mexico series. Uh, I literally just came uh, to Charlotte last, like yesterday. I flew from Mexico. Cause I had a race there, finished fourth. So uh, both of my championship uh, series are, are going good so far. I think um, this year is going to, I'm going to have uh, more than 30 races uh, combining the two series. I'm going to be running full-time both. So yeah, I think been really good uh, couple months since I last saw you, uh, good results in the races. And, and I'm really motivated for, t- for these next races. Uh, we're gonna have some big challenges here in the in the Arca series. New tracks for me. I've never been to a mile and a half uh, after Tale. We have Kansas, so that's gonna be a challenge for me. Um, trying to to study and learn as much as possible before going there. Also Taladega, uh, very different track from everything I've ever done. So yeah, I think the good momentum I'm having. Uh, let's gonna we're gonna try and keep it. And yeah, just looking for uh, checker flags, uh, going good results. Keep 
getting good points days that's that's really important do not make any mistakes um like a, a few mistakes as possible so you can start getting points and and trying to run for a championship both here in the u.s and, and in mexico so um what's it like between going from the united states and mexico just traveling in between um the two countries yeah that's different uh, that's very demanding uh, i think it's 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 kind of hard to to change really quick from one car to another. Uh, the the good thing is that I've been doing Mexico series for for a couple of years now, so I know the car uh, a bit better over there. So yeah, I think the travel is the main part of it. It's just sometimes logistics won't make it because there's going to be some races that uh, I'm going to have to run the arc race on Friday and then go back to Mexico for the race on Sunday. So that makes it kind of hard. I'm going to miss some practice and qualifying throughout the year. Hopefully uh, I make it on time for all the races. Uh, that's the plan. Um, but yeah, I think uh, the travel is definitely a challenge. Uh, but I think being on the car uh, as much as possible, just doing laps and racing against really hard competitors, it's obviously is going to help you uh, any day. Okay, so the next few tracks coming up, I know that the schedule is more kind of spread out. And then once we really get to the summer with, uh, at least on the ARCA side of things, uh, it's going to be more, it's going to be more, more races, of course. Um, so a big track like Talladega, two mile and a half in Kansas and Charlotte. And then, of course, uh, your first short track of the year uh, up at Berlin and uh, where actually I will be at. So um so how exciting is it to uh to have these kind these kind of tracks so we're going from a short track in phoenix going to probably one of the biggest tracks on the schedule in talladega and then heading to two mile and a half in kansas and uh and charlotte yeah uh, our schedule is it's really good because it's like there's a lot of everything you know there we have dirt tracks road course short tracks intermediates and and big tracks so i think it really helps you as a driver to understand how to work on those type of tracks. Uh, most of them I've never been to. Like I've only done sh kind of short tracks here in the US because I was not allowed to to run the big tracks. So I'm just gonna try and learn as much as possible and as quick as possible. That's gonna be really important to to get in the car and from the first couple laps just uh, trying to learn as much and, and start being quick in, in, in those type of tracks. And yeah, I think I'm li really looking forward to, to see how it goes. I think the our our cars for for almost all of the packages um, in the short tracks, intermediates, and big tracks is really good. So and we've been we've been working hard here in the shop to to get the cars even better. So really motivated for that. I think when we get to the track, we're going to have a very fast uh, rep racing Chevrolet. So yeah, I'm really excited. And for this week, Talladega, just looking forward to it. Hopefully, we can get a very very good result there. All right. Well, Andres Presidolara, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us, and uh, best of luck at Talladega. We'll talk to you. Uh, we'll probably talk to you in a few months. Thank you so much for having me, and yeah, uh, I'll see you after Talladega. Hopefully, to talk about the win.